the small butcher and medium utility knife make pear sauce. William Hovey Smith, 2016. I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting and also the owner of a new company, Hovey's Knives of China. And here we take a couple of our designs and evaluate them by making pear sauce. This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. And it is now pear season in Georgia. It is in late August. Our pear trees are dropping and it's time to harvest our pears and do something with them. I am the owner of a new company, Hovey's Knives of China. And I have two of my knives here and we are going to proceed to test them. This knife is out of carbon steel. It is somewhat discolored because I've used it recently. And carbon steel does discolor knife blades. This is a sharp, hardened knife. This one is brand new. Uh, just off the machine yesterday. Uh, this is a stainless steel T410, which we tempered in a forge. And I don't think did a particularly good job of it. Uh, this blade does not strike me to be as hard, as durable as our carbon steel blade or as this same knife made of carbon steel. What I'm going to do is peel and process this box of pears into pear sauce. And in that way, get an idea of the quality of these two knives and what we need to do to improve them. But this is how we develop knives. Uh, we actually come up with an idea, with a design, we work on the design, we actually use the knives and we see how they actually perform. And this is the only way, frankly, I know how to do it. The best knives are made by people who actually use them. And so we're going to be about doing that. Now this is going to take a while. So I'll bring the camera up and let you see a little bit of the cutting before I get into the nitty gritty of actually doing it all and boiling it down and so on and so on and so on. And we'll be back with you uh, in about an hour and a half when we get things more along. Now pear peeling and dicing goes down about like this. So we have a pear. Cut the stem off. Proceed to deprive it of its peeling. And these pears are used for mainly pear preserves, but also have many other uses. I make pear wine. I make pear pies. I do a pear sauce, which is what most of this is going into. And we also do a poached pear. And there are recipes for all of these on YouTube right now that you can go see that I've done in previous years. So now we have a pear with a soft spot. It's going to get cut out. This is an old bruise. And so now we're just going to dice up the pears like this. Immerse them in water. And then boil them. Mix them with a few spices and make pear sauce. And these are going to be used for bait for deer and other big game. We have now completed making our pear sauce. So from our box of pears over here, we now have pear sauce. What's in here besides the pears are approximately half a pound of butter and about three tablespoons of cinnamon. And that's all. And this is going to be put in containers and frozen for further use. We also made us a little pear pie here, which we will consume tomorrow for breakfast. 
Now, how did the knives do? Well, this one, the small butcher knife, did okay for peeling, but not as good as some. This, my medium utility knife, was not at all useful. This blade width is just too thick for peeling. Fine for chopping and dicing, but not for peeling. Most effective of all was this thin bladed fillet knife. So this peeled better. It had enough length of blade that we could take a good slice off with each peel. The blade itself is very thin and it's moderately sharp. The handle is good. So yes, we could peel faster with this blade than we can with either of mine. So far as hardness went, yes, the carbon steel blade, as suspected, was hard. But both worked, and that's what we learned. So if I'm going to peel a lot of pears and do it with my own knives, I need to design a new knife. And we do that kind of thing. So for now, this is Hovey Smith, reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. Here are the three knives used in our pear pie. Now these are some of the other prototype designs that we have made with Hovey's Knives of China. Now these knives are based on Chinese designs that are literally millennia old, and I'm now making them out of modern steels to provide cutting tools that are as useful as any cooking knives used today. My books include Backyard Deer Hunting, Extreme Muzzle Loading, Crossbow Hunting, practical bow fishing, and also a line of business books, including ideas for new businesses. And here's a little blurb about me and about the book. We are now in the prototype and chop building stage of our knife company. And we will begin production actually in January 2017. For more information on our knives and catalogs, you can go to the website below. For information on my books, blogs, and 550 videos, you can go to www.hoviesmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye, and God bless.